Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle Future Value, Ordinary, and WT. So, ano ba yung mga variables na gagamitin natin dito sa Future Value, Ordinary, and WT? So, let's start with the first one. We are going to use letter F for Future Value, and WT. Letter C naman, that will be the cash flow or regular payments. The small letter N for the number of times compounded. At ang R naman will be the rate, and T for the time. Now, let's review sa number of times compounded or yung compounding frequency for the year N. So, pag biennially, that will be 0.5. Biennially, that will be every 2 years. Okay, malito dun sa biannually and biennially. Okay? So, next one is annually. That is 1. And we also have semi-annually. That will be 2. Or it's also called biannually. So, dalawa sa isang taon. Next one, quarterly is 4. Monthly naman ay 12. Weekly is 52. And daily is 365. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. F is equal to C times the quantity. So, let's start with the numerator. So, parentheses ulit, 1 plus R over N. At may exponent tayo na n times t. At yung sagot niyan, mas parentesis sa at exponent, minus natin ng 1. Denominator naman, that will be r over n. Paano ba natin malalaman kung ordinary and with ito? Dapat magkakasundo yung cash flow dun sa compounding frequency. So, let's just focus on the, yun sa naka-highlight na red. So, sample number 1, n of each year. Magbabayad siya n of each year, lagi. At, Compounding annually. Compounding annual. Okay? So, for this one, end of each year. So, by year siya magbabayad at compounding annually or compounding annual. So, ordinary annuity yun. Magkakasundo sila parehas, di ba? End of each year, tapos annually. Kapag hindi siya end of each year, kung yan, let's say, ang nakalagay sa problem ay every 2 years or quarter di siya magbabay tapos compounding annually hindi siya ordinary annuity so ibang lesson yon ibang video yun isa pang example so dito naman every month tapos compounded monthly so ordinary annuity yan kasi nagkasundo sila eh month tapos compounded monthly magbabay siya every month at yung sa banko compounded man monthly daw sa pangatlong example naman every 3 months at compounded quarterly. Eh, ang 3 months is 1 quarter, di ba? Kung every 4 months yan, hindi pwede. Ang quarterly kasi is every 3 months yun. So, ordinary and we dito. Okay, so let's go to the first example. Teddy deposited $2,500 at the end of each year into an ordinary NWT that pays 10% annual interest at the beginning of each year. What is the future value of the account at the end of 20 years? So, first step natin, alamin muna natin kung ordinary annuity nga ba to. Which is, obviously, nakalagay naman sa problem na ordinary annuity siya. At, nakalagay dito, nagbabayad daw siya, end of each year, at compounding annually. Okay. Sunod, lagi natin yung formula. After that, substitute na natin yung mga values. So, Ang C natin, yung cash flow, every year daw siya, every end of each year, nag-buy daw siya 2-5. So, lagay ko na siya. 2-5, tapos the quantity. Doon muna tayo sa numerator. Sa loob ng parentheses, we have 1 plus R over N. Ang R natin is 10%. So, that will be 0.1. Gawin mo muna siyang decimal. Ngayon, ang N natin is yung compounding frequency. Dahil annually siya. So, 1 yun. So, 0 0.10 over 1. Exponent naman, that will be n times t. Again, ang n natin ay 1, at ang time natin ay 20 years. So, that will be 1 times 20. Ngayon, lagi natin yung minus 1. Denominator part naman, is r over n lang din. So, that will be 0 0.10 over 1. Simplify it further. So, nain naman natin yung sa numerator. So, gawin natin sa loob ng parentheses, 0 0.10 over 1, mag-add ka ng 1, yung sagot niyan, ang exponent mo ay 1 times 20, or 20. Okay, pag nakuha mo na, sa calculator, i-minus 1 mo na siya. So, in the numerator, and the answer will be 
5.727499 and so on. So, may so on pa kasi um may decimal pa yun eh sa calculator nyo. Next one, denominator tayo. 0.10 over mo ng 1, that will be 0.10. So, okay na tayo sa denominator, that will be 0.10. Ngayon, i-divide na natin. Yung sagot sa numerator, divide mo sa denominator, and you will have an answer of 57.274999 and so on. And lastly, i-multiply na natin siya sa 2,500. And you will have an answer of 143,187 and 50 cents. So, dun sa tanong na, pag si Teddy daw nag-deposit daw ng 2,500 at the end of each year, na nagbabayad ang banko ng 10% annual interest at the beginning of each year, what is the future value of the account at the end of 20 years? So, that will be 143,187.50. Alright, example number 2 naman tayo. Nori would like to deposit $5,200 every month in a bank that pays 15% compounded monthly. How much is the amount of or the future value of his savings after 2 years? So, let's check kung ordinary annuity ba. Magbabayad daw siya ng 5-2 every month. At yung compounding frequency ay compounded monthly. So, that's an ordinary annuity. Okay? Lagi natin yung formula. And after that, like, is substitute na natin yung mga values. So, Yung C natin, that will be 5, 2, 5,200. Times the quantity, dun sa numerator part, dun muna tayo sa my parentheses, that will be 1 plus R over N. Ang R natin, that will be 15%, at ang N natin will be 12, kasi compounded monthly, di ba? So, ang exponent natin is N times T. Compounded monthly, so that will be 12, tapos sa times mo siya sa time, which is 2. So, 12 times 2. Okay. Ngayon, yung sagot niya, yung parenthesis sa exponent, mayroon sa atin ng 1. Denominator part naman, that is simply R over N, so that will be 0.15 over 12. Ngayon, let's simplify the numerator first. 0.15 over 12, yung sagot niya, add ka ng 1, at to the 24 power. 24 power, kasi 12 times 2 is 24. Yung sagot niyan, minus natin ng 1, and you will have an answer of 0.347351. Okay? Next step is, simplify natin yung denominator. So, 0.15 over 12, that is 0.0125. Divide natin yung numerator and denominator, that will be 27.788. Pag dinabide mo yung 0.347351 over mo ng 0.0125, and the answer will be 27.78. 8, and so on. May decimal pa kasi. Ngayon, i-multiply na natin siya sa 5,2 and you will get an answer of 144,498.04. So, dun sa tanong na, si Nori daw na nagbabayad ng 5,2 every month sa banko na that pays 15% compounded monthly and after 2 years, ang makukuha niya ay 144,498.04. Alright, so last example tayo. Toasty would like to deposit 10500 every 3 months in a bank that pays 20% compounded quarterly. How much is the amount or the future value of his savings after 5 years? So, let's check muna kung ordinary annuity ba to. Papansin mo, magbabay daw siya every 3 months. Okay? Tapos, compounded what? Compounded quarterly. So, that is ordinary annuity kasi every 3 months is quarterly. So, lagay na natin yung formula. Next step is substitute na natin yung values. And we have future value annuity is equal to 10,500. Multiply mo siya dun sa quantity. So, dun sa numerator muna. 1 plus R over N. So, R natin, that will be 20%. And compounded quarterly. R over N will be 0 0.20 over mo ng 4. Tapos, plus 1 tayo dyan. At ang exponent natin will be 4 times 5. Bakit? Kasi N times T. Compounded quarterly, so 4 times mo sa 5 years. Yung pinakasagot niya, minus sign ng 1, and that will be the numerator part. Denominator part naman will be 0 0.20 over 4, kasi R over N. Ngayon, simplify na natin yung numerator. Naging sa calcul, 0 0.20 over 4. 
plus mo ng 1, at ang exponent mo ay 20, kasi 4 times 5. Yung sagot niyan, minus ka ng 1, and that will be 1.6532977, and so on. That's the numerator part. Decimal naman natin, that will be 0 0.20 over 4, which is 0 0.05. Divide na natin. 1.6532977, divide by ng 0 0.05, and you will get an answer of 33.0659.54. Okay, let's multiply it na dun sa 10,500. And you will have an answer of 347 or 347,192. So dun sa question na, kung si Toasty daw deposit daw ng 10,500 every 3 months sa banko na nagbabayad daw ng 20% compounded quarterly, magkano makukuha niya after 5 years? And that will be 347,192.52 cents. And that's the end of the lesson about ordinary annuity future value. Ang susunod naman natin ng video will be ordinary annuity present value. So we have a formula of present value annuity is equal to the cash flow times mo sa quantity dun sa numerator na 1 minus the quantity 1 plus R over N with an exponent of negative NT. Over mo dun sa denominator na R over N. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.